Jason Trucker here. Welcome to my channel. I hope you enjoy it. It's nice and quiet in here right now, but when they open these doors at 10 o'clock, there'll be mobs of people. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be a great day for a truck show. Looking at this cool cab over Freightliner with a moose catcher on the front. Look at that. That's pretty cool. We got Freightliner with an exhibit here. All right. Right next to Western Star. Your road just found its X Factor, it says. Wow, interesting trucks. Very cool. Very cool. Look at this old Mac. It's how they did it back in the day. Tony Cardillo, right? <laughs> that was before his time. Look at that, wow. How cool was that? I don't know what year, but uh, I wouldn't want to drive, I wouldn't want that to be my daily driver. Nice looking Peterbilt. Kenworth is back this year. Big studio sleeper. Very nice truck. Might have to take it for a ride later. We'll see. See what happens. Let's ride it around the show inside. These guys are getting the pep talk over here. All right, we want you to sell. Sell, sell, sell. Nice looking frameless. Imagine me hooking up to this wagon. Now we're talking. My OCD would kick in super fierce. I don't think I could, I don't think I got enough time in the day to keep that thing clean, but I'd be up for the challenge. This looking 40 foot Mac trailer. Oh, this is the Mac booth. Who's got a Mac? MAC. The uh, black steel trailer we pull is a Mack trailer. I used to pull that. And they got Trail Star over there. Now a lot of these trailers that are at the truck show, a lot of people might not know this, after the show, they're already sold. Somebody will come up here, like the new owner, and pick up their new trailer and take it home. That happens quite often here. Look at the lights underneath. I like that. I like that three axle trailer. I prefer a three axle. That's really cool. I like the red. That would look good on my tractor. Anything shiny will look good behind my tractor, I think. Let's get a green liner. And a roll tarp. Very nice. The shiny drop deck. Cool. What else we got over here? Nice tri axle Peterbilt. Love the color. This is J&J &J truck bodies. A lot of these exhibitors, you know, they bring in a local truck from the area and they put them in their booth. It's, it's, it's an honor to be in somebody's booth. Believe me. Believe me. Like, for example, over here, this, looks like this is a truck lift booth, gray. I don't know anything about gray, but we're going to go check it out. Oh, I saw something that caught my eye. I'll show you in a minute. But look at this, they left the truck right off the ground so you can work under it. That's pretty awesome. Keen Thumel out of Newmarket, Iowa. 
And this guy's truck will sit here all week now. That's pretty awesome. I just know how, I just know how you get up in it. Must be a ladder around here somewhere. Look at this. Gorgeous Peterbilt up on the lift. West Coast Trucking out of Louisville, Kentucky. Here's what caught my eye. You ready? Are you ready for it? You know what I'm saying? A breaker breaker. All right, now we're coming into the old school trucking area right here. What do we got? I remember this truck from last year. Wow. What a nice truck. Ronnie Doherty. Don't get any cooler than this. A model. That snowman style. Kick it on back. 77 Kenworth. W900A. Owner is Zachary Pyle. I just love I love the, the light panel down there. It drops it down. It makes it look lower to the ground. Cool light panels. Old school right there. Look at that. I'm going to try not to use the word old school too much this trip. I don't want to overuse it. That's what you got to spare. You got to go sparingly with some of the words like old school and legendary and legend and outlaw. But uh, this truck certainly matches up to all those words. That's for sure. And we got a 1996 T600 Kenworth. Owned by Chris and Donna Smith. It's got a 3406 Cat, the 15 over four. That's a cool ride. What do you call those bunks? Is that an Aero One? Aero, I don't even know. We had these at Bud Meyer. It's funny, when we had them, nobody really wanted them. Now, look how cool they are. I shouldn't say that. They're pretty cool. Let's see if the door's open. Nope, it's okay. Keep on trucking, 79 freight line, a cab over. It's got an N14 Cummins, 18 speed. Owner is Bob Petit, out of Hartsville, Alabama. This is amazing, amazing truck. What a cool ride. Look how cool the back end of this is. That's super. Got this super duper looking cab over freight liner. Drop visor, fog lights at the bottom of the window. This is totally cool. All right, third time, old school pinstriping. How far out is that? Keep on trucking etched in the window a lot of people won't notice that you know back in the 90s used to have a lot of window etches driving around the truck shows and the truck stops living out of their rvs etching windows on trucks i even had my bud meyer peter built i had the glass etched with the logo of the company never mind never mind the load just mule the wagon absolutely i couldn't agree more Look at this, this is just, this is unbelievable. Swagging on a budget. <laughs> yeah, that's some budget. Can I have some? Ah, foiled, foiled again. All right, walking through the show here. I'm gonna head over towards the Shell Retailer booth in a few minutes. Got old Troy Lynx International here. Good morning. How are you? Good. Check out the interior of this truck. Wow, Troy, look at that, with the old bathroom rugs. I used to do this. this the, the one that goes around the toilet, put it around the seat, it fits perfectly. 
did that for years. That's so cool. Awesome. All right, we've made it to the Shell Rotella booth. We're looking at the schedule. We got a meet and greet schedule. We got trucking with Tay today, one to three. We got Farmer Grace, one thirty to three thirty. We got Adam Kester Friday and Saturday. And some guy named the Boston Trucker Thursday and Friday. I don't know why it says Saturday. Thursday and Friday. Right here we got a <laughs> Texas Equipment Express Super Rigs winner in the booth representing. Wow. <laughs> what can you say? It's just, uh, yeah. Wow, that's amazing. These guys come to all the Super Rig shows, a couple lodge rides, a bunch of lodge rides, professional drivers. These guys move heavy equipment all over Texas and wherever they need to go. This truck's name is Wyatt Earp. Wicked cool, wicked. That's amazing. Everybody knows the Shell Rotella oil. It's the best oil in the business. Cool, Marmon, classic. It's got some battle scars, but they're well worn and well deserved. This is an 86 Marmon 57P with a 3406 B Caterpillar 13 speed. Pretty cool. <laughs> I love this. Never driven a Marmon. It's one of very few brands that I've never driven. Dallas, Tux Dallas Truck Wash, who remembers that? You know, Marmon was built in Garland, Texas, so it makes sense that he has that. Classic Marmon dash, flat dash, all the legroom for a tall driver you could ask for. That's really cool. I love this. Probably the original seats, everything look everything in here is original. I gotta admire that. I love a truck like this. You can give me chrome and lights and glitter and you know train horns and uh Headlights, you know, a lot. Marker lights, 32 marker lights across the cab, but nothing beats a cool classic truck like this. That's just awesome. You know, it's funny how time changes opinions on trucks because right here we got a 93 377P, 3406B Cat and a 9 speed owned by Mulberry Orchard. But, you know, when these 377s came out, they just weren't my thing. I just. I just couldn't see myself driving one. I was all about the long hood 379s. That's what I was driving at the time. And, uh, but you know, I look at this truck now and I go, this is a pretty cool looking ride. It's got that aerodynamic, uh, whatchamacallit here, which I never cared for, but looking at this truck, you know, 25 years later since it was made, even longer, it's a pretty cool ride. It's got the same, same interior as a 379, which you gotta appreciate. And it's got a custom shifter there, which I just, I just love that. Mulberry Orchard. The original painting, uh, lettering on there. To me, this is a show truck. It's just cool. It's not about the glitz and the glamour with every truck, but it's the pride and the history of the trucks. And uh, this brings it all back. I'm gonna look at the MC numbers. 222-910, DOT number. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Love it. It's got some uh, shine on the tires. He's doing his thing. It's pretty cool. Right here we got a 74 Kenworth W923. Owned by Tyler Goulon. Totally, it's a combination of old school and new school. You see the, the monster visor, which they obviously didn't have back in the day. It's got, He's got the Kaiser air conditioner on top. You know, it's a def definite combo. Like that's old school, there's new school. 
He threw some lights on there, you know? Polished out his, his boxes, you know? He's got the, the new fenders, but it's, you got I appreciate a truck like this. I mean, it's, it's, it's the best of both worlds. It looks pretty awesome. Definitely a, a neck breaker coming down the road at you. Definitely blow some smoke. Cool interior. Got the drop seats, which is totally new school. It's got the Cobra 25 under the dash. Old school, and I'm saying it all the time. Look, it's got the CB microphone hanging up on the door. I love that. Cool shifter, crawl through bunk. That's why truckers weren't fat back in those days. You know, they had to be able to like, negotiate that. <laughs> Getting in the bunk, it's got the air conditioner up on top. That's awesome, I love this. And then the seats, there are no guts to the seats. You sit on the floor. Now some people might ask, well, how do you see? You don't, you aim. That's it. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Pretty cool. Took those grill bars off. <laughs> it's a farm truck. Pretty awesome. Now here's another one owned by the same guy. Tyler Goulon. Old school, old school, I'm saying, I can't stop saying it. Old school cab over Peter, but I don't know what year it is. I don't see a plaque, but my guess is, uh, obviously 70s. Hollywood on the door. It's out of Baghdad, Kentucky. I love the old, I just love the, the panels on the Peterbilt doors, the custom stitches. You, you just don't get that in today's trucks. The old El Dorado seat. And we got a classic 87 359 Peterbilt. This one's got a four and a quarter cat with an 18 speed owned by Daryl Estes. Got the cool turbo wing up on the roof. That's another thing about things that have changed over time. You know, back in the day, that's another overused phrase, back in the day, you know, a lot of trucks had the turbo wings and they had the Vera Shields. On the Vera Shields, I don't think they looked that cool back in the uh, back in the 90s. Now you see a Vera Shield, you're like, wow, that guy's got a Vera Shield on it. I have one on a couple of Peterbilt's that I drove. I wanted to take them off. Now I see the pictures of those trucks now, I'm like, it's pretty cool. This paint job. It's a combination of old school versus meeting uh, up to date new school. The new fenders, stretch frame. Guaranteed it didn't come stretched from the factory that way. So, very cool trucks. The Roadworks truck. <laughs> Super cool. <laughs> this thing's insane. The work and the money that must have went into this thing is just amazing. Look at the light bar underneath. Paint's the most impressive. Glitter. So nice. These lights, that's different. Custom box. Wow, that's far out. Pretty cool. So here we have the announcement of the next Super Rig show will be June 8th through the 10th in Gillette, Wyoming. That's one of the big announcements from the show with Telebooth. So are your parents right? Got uh, five questions. The second big announcement, I don't know which one is bigger, going to Gillette, which is pretty awesome. For the announcement of the new Super Rigs judge. This guy named the Boston Trucker. I'm gonna be a judge of Super Rigs. It's actually been in the works for a while. I had to keep it on, under tight wraps. And now you know, pretty excited about that. So, if you're in Wyoming, bring your rig. But I'm gonna be fair and I'm gonna take it very seriously because I, I believe truck show judging it's a serious responsibility because people put a lot of hard work, sweat, money into their trucks, and uh, I don't want to shortchange anybody. So 
you're gonna get fair judging from the Boston trucker. Walking through, we're gonna go find some food to eat. Cause I realize it's two o'clock and I haven't ate yet. Except I don't know where the food is, so let's just go take a walk. Boy, I need that for my trailer. Oh, that'd be bad. And we got some big rides, some ARI sleepers. New Western Star. Got about 156 inch bunk. What's up with that? I get it. I am locked. This one's the least to Bennett. Heavy Specialized. And another big one. Wow, I like the ones with the side door. It's on a Peterbilt. I like that. That is long. Holy smokes. That's got to be 400 inches, 350 inches. Five sixty-seven, 168 inch bunk, 356 inches close. It's beautiful. And we got this big Kenworth here. W900. This one's got 156 inches. How do I know it's 156 inches? Because I got a measuring stick. Let's go look. So it looks a little longer. Let's see. Don't say. Just trust me on that. Nice rig. Now we got a Freightliner here. That one's a little, I don't know. That's 156 inches. See? And they're like homes on wheels. You guys have seen some of my videos. I've been in a few of these with a few friends. My friend Dave, my friend Rich. And that's the way to travel if you're driving over the road, if you can swing it. Not everybody can. And then we got this. New England Patriots fan. Mafia on the move. That's pretty nice. Go Pats. This guy, I bet this guy loves Tom Brady. 356 inches, 168 inch ARI legacy custom sleeper. That is massive. I wonder what this guy hauls with this truck. Oh, listen. Paperwork here. Follow on YouTube. All right, fellow YouTuber, Mafia on the move. It's got a big cow catcher on the front. Pretty sweet. Let's take a peek at. New technology. We got a brand new Western Star here with a 72 inch sleeper. Let's check it out. I like to see how the door sounds. If I saw it. Nice and solid door. Heavy door. Got. First thing I noticed grab handle here, grab handle here for safety. This is where you put your def tank. You fill up def, it's a nice opening here. Little step on up. Easy climb into the cab. First thing I notice, I like these pleated seats. That's a nice look, nice interior look. It's got a nice big steering wheel. Everything's at your fingertips. It's missing a couple things. Yeah, I don't know. Well, trucks aren't perfect, but it's got three cup holders. I like that. USB, it's got a power outlet. All kinds of switches. Region, I don't know what that is. Got PTO switch, trailer auxiliary. All kinds of stuff. I don't even know what half the stuff is. It's climate control right at your fingertips. 
computer stuff here. I'm not sure what this is. This is like I'm not I'm not up on the new technology, but I'm learning. It's probably camera systems, I'm guessing. It's got a nice view through the window. It's got hood mirrors. You guys know I'm not a big fan of hood mirrors, but they are very helpful, to be honest. A lot of space between the cab. Like a lot of space here. You could put a you could put a full nother seat right here. Let's step up into the bunk area. This truck actually has a CB radio in it. Lots of storage up on top here. I appreciate that when I drove over the road. So it's cabinet space up here. Another big cabinet up here. You put your television here or you can mount it here. A lot of space up here. That's incredible. That's very, very helpful for a driver living on the road. If you got your closet here to hang your shirts, it's got a, a bar up here to hang. We got, what do you got down here? More storage. This is probably. I can't figure out how to open that. And you got a table set up. Kitchen table. You want to do paperwork, offer stuff. You got a slide out drawer. You got an ice box and refrigerator here. This is pretty great. And then you got a fold down bunk. Pretty simple. You know, if you're going to drive over the road in a new style truck, Western Star. Western Star's always had a good name. Let's take it for a ride. I want to take it for, I want to take it on the road. Test drive it. I like this, I like this big space up here too. This big dash. It's nice. More storage. This thing's got more storage than any truck I've ever seen in my life. That's amazing. All right. Boston Trucker with Western Star. Who, who would have thunk it? Not me. All right. I like the pipes coming up the back. I'm not a fan of uh, this. This this is not my thing, but if you're into fuel economy, it's your thing. If you're more about dollars and cents and less about uh, more smiles and miles, this is your truck. I think this uh, this truck fits is, is great for both. Very cool, very cool. Grill, very nice. Over here, we got a Western Star 49X with a 48 inch bunk, heavy specs, got 46 rears. It's got a nice long hood, kind of boxy. Heavy on the chrome with a tag axle. This one's my speed. Let me check this out. Got two grab handles on both sides. Pull yourself up easily into the cab. Nice big steering wheel. Quiet. Can't hear anything outside now. The dashboard, everything right here at your fingertips. I think it's missing. It's one of these and one of these. Otherwise, it's not a bad truck inside here. It's very comfortable. 48 inch bunk, but it is spacious. Stand right up in this thing with plenty of headroom. I mean, it's not hard when you're five foot five, but um, a lot of space in here. I'm sure this bunk must lift up. Just extra storage. Look at that. A lot of storage, got a speaker under there. Very nice truck, nice seat. I like the pleated seats with the Western Star logo in them. All right. Let's see, we got a CB radio, old school cool. A lot of storage up here on top. Good lighting.
Cool rides, cool rides here at Max 223. Checking them all out. All right, you guys are on video from Maine here. Hey. Hey, what's going on, guys? What's happening? Scott and Devin. What's up? And Ron Thompson. How are we doing? We're doing all right. Thanks for coming down. You betcha. All right. Standing here with Dominique, the dump truck driver, and her husband, Bobby, all the way from Washington State. You can follow Dominique on YouTube, TikTok, Instagram. Facebook. Facebook, everywhere. Facebook everywhere. She's got a great YouTube channel, social media presence. Make sure you guys check her out. Come see me, you guys, if you like dump trucks. Yeah. Instead of doing it right the first time. Uh, yeah, so they did fix it. You used to run that all the time running out west, right? This over here. I'm gonna see what this is. Crazy looks. That's a pretty cool shirt. Now, you know how you can tell who the real truckers are and the ones that aren't real truckers here? How's that? The real truckers are the one that has the ear, they have the earpiece hanging still, off the head. Still in their ear. Still in their ear. Those are the real truckers. Wait for dispatch. That's right. They're waiting on a call. That's how I can tell. He knew you was going to Big rig T's over here. There's a real truck right there. So you know. How far are they? Yeah, I just go here. Give me a redneck girl. That's an actual truck from from New Hampshire. That's pretty cool. Wow. Nice. Truck models here. I was thinking about getting one of those bicentennial models. You see those? The, the Kenworth and uh, right in the middle, it's white. I was gonna say this guy's either a chamois salesman or an or an eyeglass cleaning guy. You can tell him far away. They could be both. Let me show you the radio. What do we get over here? Oh, look at that, huh? Pete 
Transport, Mineral Point, Wisconsin. Oh, I see somebody I know. I don't know who those hats over there. I think it's pretty cool. Oh. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I wouldn't not drive it. Look, look at that. that is awesome. Steve, how are you? How are Good you? to see you. Good. Listen, don't try and be my friend now. How you doing? Thank you. Congratulations. How are you? Thank you so much. Going to where? Wisconsin or where you going? Yeah. Yeah, look at this. Oh yeah, I met on the camera. We talked for one video, yeah. Yeah, this is pretty cool. Huh? Wait, say that again. Dominique? She, she classes up dump trucks. She does class up dump trucks. <laughs> that is so true. She's awesome. I met her and her husband today. Great people. Oh, I might have to buy a hat. I'm going to buy a hat. Oh, this one's great. You like that hat? I think I like this hat. I'm gonna get black. Can you 
hold this? As I purchased it, I need to hold it. Thank you. Now you're, now you're my film crew. You know, the only problem with this hat is there's not much I can do with my Sharpie on it. It's the only problem. I'm gonna wear it as is, okay? That's it. Thank you, my friend. Appreciate it. Yeah. Did you see what I did to his other, other hat? Yes. I, okay. I blanked out the box. It, lo it looks terrible, too. Exactly. I spent my 20 bucks. I'll do what I want to my hat. It's going all right. This is awesome. You, you finally escaped, huh? I escaped after like two days. <laughs> yeah, this is great. How are you guys doing? Good, how are you? All right. Walking through the truck show here, we got Gentry and Sons, and we got Chad Keegan over here. How you guys doing? Not bad yourself. All right. Chad Keegan, you on YouTube? Yes, sir. I'm on YouTube too. Right on. I'm probably not, probably nobody knows me though. What's your channel? Uh, the Boston Trucker. Boston Trucker, yeah. Yeah, I you heard of me? Stuff. Oh, cool. You did um, you did a, a video with the guy that had the two hands. <laughs> yes, truck. he's yeah. here. That thing's got yeah, a ton of hands. Yeah, I did. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Appreciate it. I like your uh, stuff too. Thank you. All right, this is awesome. Look at that track. I've been watching the build on this thing. Yeah. See it in person, it's pretty awesome. What are you guys selling on the other side over there? Uh, so the shirts, and then they also have these. Oh cool, I'm gonna go check them out. I drove one just like it. Me too. I like how they have the this built into it almost like it belongs. That's so cool. Hey, what's up, dude? What are you watching there? Do you remember me? I do. You remember me, right? I do. We did a video together. Yes, sir. Super rigs. Yes, sir. How you doing? Good man, everybody's been talking about that video. Yeah, you did a job, man. How's it going? Good. What are you guys selling? Shirts and hats? Well, right, we're selling shirts. Did your dad here? Oh, oh, there he is. All right, cool. I'm going to say hello to him. Take it easy, bud. Oh. I got a feeling I'm only buying one hat today. I just got that feeling. I don't know why. Your son over there. Congratulations on the, uh, yeah. on the uh, on the judging. Yeah, yeah. Better get your stuff clean now. I'm, I'm watching now. Yeah, I know. I you know what? You be tough. It's a big honor. It is. I'm a trucker. And, yeah. You know, it's gonna be. I think they couldn't have picked it better. Thank you very much. I really need a lot. Thank you. Yeah. No, thank you. No, and it's you know it's, it's guys like you that, that, that yeah. keep guys like. I'm gonna take it real serious. I know you will. And I'm not gonna adjust my face. I know you. Will. Doyle Montgomery, old race truck. 
Everybody remember this one? He don't sing, but his engine does. His engine do. Wow. Yeah. Big boy. The flying deuce. We got a full full grown Max Superliner right here. Look at the pipes. Wow. This is the Disneyland for truckers. Definitely. <laughs> 